It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's the E-Commerce Minute for February 23rd, 2018. In today's episode, Walmart Store Assistant app makes your shopping trip better. Better and easier. Walmart has launched a revamped mobile app with new features, including Store Assistant, that activates when shoppers visit physical Walmart stores, according to a company blog post. The handful of new and improved features to the Walmart app not only help you get in and out of the store quickly, but also help you before you even leave the house. Next time you visit your local store and open the app, the Walmart app transforms into Store Assistant. All the tools you need to make shopping fast and easy, such as Walmart Pay, are right at your fingertips. They've also made the product search bar and the scanner easier to find, so you can quickly read reviews, find items in store, and double-check prices. Here's some other of the key features. Smarter lists. According to Walmart, 80% of shoppers make lists before their visits, so they've made list making easier. You can now add generic terms like milk in the app without having to specify an exact item match. Your list will also allow you to check stock and calculate your cart's total with tax before even visiting the store. Store Assistant makes your list easily accessible so you can see what aisle the items are located in as well as cross off and add items as you go. Improved store navigation with store maps. The app will feature interior maps of every store. The maps will help you find where an item is located down to the aisle and shelf area. More store information. You can now easily check whether a store has a department like a photo center or auto care center and see department hours and phone numbers. They're also adding other valuable information, such as checking for things like rug doctor availability to make your store shopping even easier. In future updates, you'll be able to drop pins on a store map tied to the location of items on your list, enabling you to plan your route through the stores or have the ability to book services like an oil change in advance. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I actually just saw one more commercial and they had that stuff on there. I like the the map thing because I'm all about getting in and getting out. Um, yeah, that's always good. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Smart list. Um, it's surprising, eighty percent. But I'm a I'm a list maker, so that doesn't surprise me because <laughs> the least amount of time I spent in, spend in a store, the better. <laughs> Especially Walmart. Walmart is not a pleasure trip. <laughs> oh. I think a lot of retailers could learn from this. Obviously, they don't have the deep pockets to do all these features, but I mean, they have. I mean, listen, Walmart has to do something, right? Like, they need to beat on Amazon because they keep on getting beat the hell out of. So, it's always that. Yeah, we didn't do a story in it, but what were their latest numbers? Their latest numbers were not oh, good. Yeah, they were off. Um, and I don't know if they were just numbers online or there were i think there were just numbers online i don't think there were their in-store numbers well i i think anyway. we talked a lot about this uh since the acquisition of jetcom.com they've done a lot of acquisition other acquisitions mm-hmm. um i think they're still playing catch up technology wise with amazon i think that we had said this before that e-commerce for walmart was kind of like the redheaded stepchild it was like they did it because they had to and then all of a sudden they went oh crap like we're getting crap yeah hammered <laughs> we're getting hammered here so i think they're they're playing catch up what do we always say that walmart is a data company so i think once they get caught up you're going to see some fierce competition from that. And mm-hmm. that, you know and they still have the in-store which is another advantage over amazon uh, and i think an app like this for people like us that aren't walking around with a piece of paper in their pocket, this is, you know, you're going to spend more money when you have something like this because you're going to yeah. make a list. And that's really what it's all about. They're going to, you make the list and then you're going to say, Oh, well, while I'm in that aisle, I might as well get these, you know, because there's selection. Like I, I've been not to go on a tangent, but I've been using their food section and they have a lot of stuff. My grocery store doesn't have. So I've been going there to get some of the more oddball stuff. So, They'll yeah, they're definitely doing better and better with their groceries in the big stores. So yeah, yeah, it's actually surprising because you always think at oh, Walmart, like <laughs> the quality in the selection is. I it's not to... your grandma's Walmart. It's not my grandma's Walmart. All right, anything else? Uh, that's it, my friend. All right, that's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe, or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy.